Ladies and gentlemen, look at what an interesting exercise we have here. The shaded area of this figure is 64 third square units. Let's demonstrate. Pay close attention. Here we have two functions. A blue function, which is jerry x, and a function in green, which is f of x. And they intersect right at these points here. So we need to find these points. How do we do it? By equating function f of x to function g of x. So we write here the function f of x, f of x equals x squared minus 6x. More and more. And this has to be equal to the function g of x, which is 6x minus x squared. Perfect. Let's move everything to the left side of the equation. We would have vx squared minus 6x plus 10. With this negative 6x here and this positive x squared over here. Perfect. This is going to be equal to 0. We have x squared plus x squared, which is 2 times x squared. Then I have minus 6x and minus 6x is minus 12k. And then I have 10, which is the constant term. And look, we ended up with a quadratic equation. We can use the general formula to solve it or we can also use factoring. In this case, we'll use factorization. This here, ladies and gentlemen, for those who don't know, is a trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c. Now we are going to multiply this number by the whole equation. We get here 4 or 2. Look, we multiply by 2 minus. We write this 2 here. And in parentheses, we are going to put the 2 that we are multiplying by this x. And 2 times 10 gives us 20. This will be equal to 0. Since we multiplied the whole equation by 2, we also need to divide by 2. So we don't affect the equation. Very good. And notice that this trinomial in this form has now become a trinomial of the form x squared plus bx plus c, which we can easily solve by opening two parentheses. We open two parentheses, and this here is over 2 and set to 0 right. And in each parenthesis, we are going to put the square root of this term. That is 2 centimeters. The square root of 4x squared is 2x. We put this sign here, and multiplying this sign by this sign here, negative times positive gives me negative perfect. Now we need two numbers that multiply to give us 20, and that added or subtracted give us 12. Those numbers are 10 and 2. Notice here we have negative 10 times negative 2, giving us positive 20. And minus 10 and minus 2 gives me minus 12. Perfect. And here we can take out the common factor of 2. We leave this term just as it is. 2x minus 10 multiplied. And here we take out the common factor, 2, which will be multiplied by x. Take a look. 2 times x is 2x and minus 1. 2 times 1 is 2. Perfect. All of this is divided by 2. And notice what happens with the denominator. It will simplify. And we've got that these two factors are equal to zero. So we can set each factor to zero. We can say that 2x minus 10 equals zero. That x1 is also equal to zero. Isolating x from here, we'll have x is equal. This 10 becomes positive and this 2 divides. We'd have 10 over 2 which ladies and gentlemen is fantastic. We've already found the first value of x. And here we have that x equals 1. And notice x equals 5. That's here. So this point reaches right here. Very well. And x equals 1 means that this point reaches up to here. Visually, you can see that it was more or less around there. But we had to do the equation to know. We had to calculate it very well. All right. Now what we're going to do is erase this here. So we can continue integrating these two functions. Let's solve it by integrating. You'll see it's very simple. Let's erase then. Very well. So we had that this point is 5 and this point is 1. If you're enjoying the video, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like so you don't miss the next challenges. And learn much more about integrals and derivatives. So what is it? Why do we find these two points? Because here, you see, our figure starts here and ends here. So we need from where it starts to where it ends. All right. So what are we going to do? 
We're going Who to integrate. We got so, this. the shaded area is going to be equal to the integral from Wong paying attention. From Wong. how far? Up to here? Great. From whom? From the function that is above. The shape. Imagine this were a house. The roof would be the blue function and the floor would be the green function. So, it would be the ceiling which is this function 6x. X squared. And we subtract the function below that one. What's this here? Let's write it down. X squared minus 6x plus and y. Perfect. perfect. And all of this differential of x, very good. And that's all for today. We maintain that the shaded area will be equal to the shading of the bottom area. To the integral Goodbye. from 1 to 5. A and here we have 6x minus x squared. And here minus times plus is minus x squared. Minus times minus is plus. Six says, says and this. less for more man than the day. Perfect. And then we'll have over here. Let's continue because the shaded area is the same. Here we're going to have like terms. S as in us. X as in us in us in x2, x2. So that's going to be equal to 2x2. Then I have 6x and 6x which gives us 12x. And finally we have minus 10. And this thing about x is great. And now let's integrate. You'll see how easy it is to integrate these two functions. No! The integration of minus 2x squared. Let's write this down here. Look at the base minus 2x. We've got this here. And we're going to add 1 to this 2. So 2 plus 1 gives us 3. Oh, my a God. variable with an exponent increases the exponent by 1 and this same exponent is used as the denominator. Very well, easy, right? Now let's do this part here. Minus 12x. And that we add a 1 to an invisible 1. That's here, right? Then that would give us 2. And over this same 2 that we have. That's same as here. And and what, what about this term this? that doesn't have x? Well, we're going to pretend it has x to the 0. Okay? And what happens with x to the 0? Well, it's 1. And 1 times negative 10 gives us negative 10. Right? So we have 10. And we add 1 to this 0. So we get x to the power of 1 over 1. Any number over 1 gives us the same number. And any number raised to the power of 1 gives us the same number. And we're not going to add the 1 from here anymore. But rather, we'll write down the integration limit, which goes from 1 to 5. So let's, let's put go yes with. here. Perfect. Given We're that the solution done. is Let's around here, the area the is amazed. Video. It's the same. Uh, what, are what are we, we going to do? To, to apply Let's this that we have here, when x is 5, and then we will subtract the same evaluated from this when it's on. You'll see it's very simple. Here we have minus 2 thirds. Alright, then we have x cubed, but now it's going to be 5, 5 to the cube. Perfect. More. 12 divided by 2, that's 6, right? So we have 6 times x squared left, but x is 5, so we have 5 squared here. And minus 10x, but x is 5. Perfect. And let us close this with brackets less. Let's now evaluate the with 1. Very well. With 1, we get negative 2 thirds. And notice that since x equals 1, 1 cubed is still 1 leaving us with negative two-thirds. Then we have plus 12 times 1, and squared, 1 squared is 1. And 12 over 2, we already said it is 6, right? So it would just be 6. Perfect. Hey, then minus 10 times 10 x, is. but since x is 1, then minus 10, fantastic. We have it here. All right, we see that the shaded area is the same. Look, let's start jotting it down here. We have 5 cubed, which is 125 times 2 is 150, we get minus 150, sorry, it's 250, right? Very good. Minus 250 over 3, then we have a bit more over here. 5 squared is 25, n times 6 gives us 150, very good. And minus 10 times 5 gives us minus 50. Great! Here we will have 6 and 10 which gives us negative 4. But let's apply this sign first. So we would have negative times. Negative gives us positive. More than two-thirds, let's remove this from here because we're already adding it directly. All right, then over here we have minus times plus gives me minus and then six. 
And minus times minus gives me plus 10. Perfect. Let's start adding like terms. So what do we have here? 150 minus 50 is 100. Very good. Here we have 100. And over here we have 10 minus 6, which gives us 4. Add in 100 plus 4, it would give us 104. Right? So let's delete all of this here. And we leave it here. The 104. First we leave this here. Minus 2 thirds and plus 104. Very well. Perfect. And we can also do this addition because it's homogeneous. The 3 stays as the denominator. And you subtract or add on top. Subscribe. We have negative 250 plus 2 gives us negative 248. So here we will have negative 200 over the denominator. That was 3. Okay. And finally, we can find the shaded area. Here then, we would have that the shaded area is going to be equal, ladies and gentlemen, to 3 times 4, which gives us 300. And 312 minus 148 equals 64. I place it. And this is the pack of finger. 64 thirds of square units, just as we predicted from the beginning here. Easy. Let me know in the comments if you liked the video. And don't forget to subscribe and give it a like so you don't miss the next challenge. We'll see each other next time. Bye-bye. Subtitles by the Amada Dog Community.